Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Jorge Santiago from JBR Fishing. I'm gonna give you a quick uh, overview of how to set up your your transducer. You know, many people uh, install their systems all on their own, and they install it and they level out everything, and they miss one key point. You know, you have to keep in mind of the idling speed and the idling. Um, the angle of the bow, you know, the attitude of the bow when you're, when you're idling. If it's up, you have to level that off. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to take care of that and set your transducers correct, okay? So the way that I do it, okay, this is, this is what you need. You need a level, you need a roll of quarters or a roll of nickels. I use quarters. They're a little bit bigger, easy to handle. The whole point is this is the, the hole with a pedestal for the seagulls, okay? So I use a level, and as the boat is idling, right? Some people idle at three miles per hour, some people idle at four, some people at five, some people at two. So it all depends. So once you have the idling speed that you normally idle in, you set up quarters, okay? Then little by little, you start setting them up until it levels out. When the level hits the middle, it could be this high. Okay, it could be this much off. Okay, so don't 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 be afraid. Just add stack, add a quarter at a time until it levels off. Once that thing is let, once the is leveled off, you know you try to stay right in the middle, middle of the boat. Okay, once that level comes off, and if you're, you're in the center bubble, now you have to take the boat out of the water. Unfortunately, yes, you do have to because you cannot, you know, adjust the transducer under the water. It's kind of uh, <laughs> intuitive. Okay, so give me a second. Let me go to the back and show you what I have to do. So we're back here, transducer right here, level here. Okay, so once you come out of the water and you set up, you have to roll up the, you have to crank up the, the wheel, the front. You crank it up to where it's supposed to go. That way you could get the same level you crank it up, you bring it up. Try to get it to the same level that it used to be. That way it's level. You, once that, once this level where, uh, where we started off at, right here by the back, now you could have the opportunity to come in and level off your transducer. You see, right there. That is perfect, okay? Now, Fortunately, you know, I, I always, for some reason, I, every time that I park my boat, I always end up at the same attitude that my, that my, uh, well, my speed is at. That way, I don't know why, it just happens. But that's how you do it. So that's a quick tip. That way you can set up your transducer to the proper uh, level and you always be seeing the fish that's under your boat not underneath in front of your boat and this is why sometimes uh <clears throat> when you when you're scanning for fish you know you got your 2d sonar you have your down imaging and you see fish you're right on top of them you drop take a drop shot and <clears throat> take a drop shot and drop and nothing happens you won't even see your bait right there. If, if you're uh, video game fishing, you won't even see your bait hop or anything. And the simple reason is that your transducer is not facing straight down. It's facing a little bit, it's canned a little bit forward. So keep in mind, the boat when you're idle, there's the bow, it's idling like this. It's not idling like this, it's idling like that. Okay? So once you take the boat out of the water, you bring, you put, drop the top, you drop the wheel down in the front, bring it up, and make sure that it comes back. Leave the, leave, leave the level at the back with the stack of quarters. And that way, when it comes up, <clears throat> once it's level right there, take the level off, go to the back, put it on top of your transducer, level your transducer, ratchet it up, and you're good to go. And y'all guarantee that you have fish under your transducer, not underneath your boat. Okay, so don't forget, uh, if you like this video and you like the information that I put out, uh, please share it with somebody. It might help somebody that you know. Uh, if you know what it is, then you, you already know. But there's, there's, there's people out there that do not know what's going on, and they try to set it up, and they're making some minor mistakes, but they're still mistakes that could 
um, frustrate you a little bit on the waters on the lake if you have a boat and you're out there trying to fish and you use drop shot a lot and keep in mind this information that I just shared out today is for the back of the boat um, the front of the boat is a little bit different you know that's gonna be pretty much leveled out you know you got your transducer at the at the trolling motor so that's gonna be straight down you're good at that side <clears throat> but when you're idling and you need to you find fish you know you're gonna roll right through see them come around with the trolling motor then find them right there so that's that's the best way to go about it so if you do like the video that i uh just put out give us a like share it and subscribe that way uh please give us some comments that way i could know what is it what you want that way i could help you guys out and you guys help me by giving me some feedback and uh that way i could put some some uh, some solid information out that's going to benefit people all right please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and keep in mind don't miss that hook set when you're out in the water